Well, we are on day two of our 40-day fast, what I'm calling the Days of Elijah. And we're actually following the story of the prophet Elijah through these next 40 days. Uh, we began yesterday, and today we're going to continue. And we're in 1 Kings chapter 17, uh, verse 1. Well, we began yesterday, but we're going to continue in today. So 1 Kings chapter 17, verse 1. Now Elijah the Tishbite from Tishba in Gilead said to Ahab, As the Lord the God of Israel lives, whom I serve, there will be neither dew nor rain in the next few years except at my word. Now Elijah came there, remember Elijah's name means Yahweh is God. He came forward with his name, not just his name being a name, but a proclamation. So that was his title. So who's coming to speak to you, King Elijah? Yahweh is God. Okay, well, what's he got to say? And what he had to say was, he says, you know what? He said, from this point on, there will be neither dew nor rain until I say so. In the power of the name of God. That's what he was coming from, in God's power. He said, look, he said, I'm telling you this. He said, things are fixing to get really bad, hey, Ahab. God's had enough of this. Ahab was up the long list of, um, of the kings that, that served that... Um, and then was nothing but nothing but evil. It was a bad time, bad period for Israel. It's kind of sound familiar, maybe. So he came to this king and he said, "Look," he said, I'm "fixing to shut things down, and they're going to stay shut down until I see things moved." At my word, at, when Elijah Big would begin to pray, then he would see that the rain would fall and the dew would continue again. That thing would, so would begin to prosper again. I think we've come to that point in this nation, people. I know we've come to that point in our lives. It's time right now where things are fixing to get shaken up. Um, the political level, the, the national level, but I'm talking about within us. There's a time for a shaking. There's a time for a clarity that we need going forward. That's the purpose that I have in this 40-day fast, is that God would give me clarity. And each day, as, you know, as I'm going through this, every hour it seems like I get more clarity on certain points. And I want to encourage y'all, if y'all are in there, I don't know what you're looking for, but be listening attentively because God has something to say to you during this time. And things may get bad, and things are going to get rough during, during a fast. You know, I'm just telling you, things, times get hard. But you hold out because at that one appointed time, such a time as this, maybe as they say there in Esther, God's going to move and you're going to see something happen. Now, when I say a move of God, I'm just saying this. God doesn't have to move. It's going to be us moving toward God, but it's all in the point of perspective, okay? God's not going to bend, but we're going to bend. And you're going to see that, that all of a sudden there's a clarity that you just weren't able to recognize. In the midst of a fast, you're going to, you can almost hear colors. I've told someone one time. It's just everything in the world goes into HD. You know, I want to pray for you today that you would have the strength to be able to endure this fast. I don't know if you're doing one meal, two meals, what, what you're doing. I'm, 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 I'm doing a water-only fast. Um, I need some things to be able to be done in my life, in my body, in my mind, in my spirit. And I'm declaring into my mind, my body, and my spirit that God is God. Food is not God. Social media is not God. The things of this world are not God. Politics are not God. Elections are not God. God is God. Yahweh is my God. So I needed to be able to have everything around me shut down to where I could hear more clearly the voice of God. I don't know what you're praying for in this fast, but send me a private message. I'd love to be able to converse back and forth. And send me a message too. If you can drop me in your phone number, I'm going to send texts throughout the day, not group texts. I hate group texts. Don't worry about that. I'm going to send you some little encouragements through the day. Father God, I pray right now for everyone in the sound of my voice, including myself, that you give us strength throughout this fast. Father God, we have called this fast to be able to seek clarity from you. And Father God, we pray that even now you begin to speak to us. Lord God, lift up, strengthen, increase the endurance level of everyone that's on this video this morning that's participating. I ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Look, you know God loves you. You gotta know by now that I love you. Get out there and make sure someone knows that you love them. Look, y'all have a great and wonderful day and I'll catch up with you later.